properly open it one club but it's not wrong to open it with a multi two diamonds if you're playing OCP complex anybody got any questions about about the hand types that we use for our multi Okay, let's have a Ah. Um I can't believe you've got this far with OCP without knowing what playing tricks are. Um okay, uh a playing trick basically is a trick that in normal play without any extreme distribution elsewhere that you would expect to get as a as a as a trick so if you've got say ace king queen jack to six in a suit you would expect that to be six playing tricks even ace king queen to six if the rest of the trumps are distributed um three two two then you're going to be able to run six tricks in that suit so if you've got a king queen and an ace outside that then you would say that that's an eight playing trick hand because you're going to make six tricks in the trump suit uh, the king queen one of those will lose to the ace and the ace will take a trick now if you give the ace the suit with the ace a five card suit now it's very much more than eight playing tricks because you would expect to be able to rough uh maybe one of um the losers to establish the suit do you see what i mean sanya it's with two suitors it's a little bit more difficult to estimate immediately but you would expect you know if partner's got reasonable support for one of your suits but not for the other then you should be able to establish one using the other. So you might you might expect your playing tricks to go up when you've got a distributional two suitor on the basis that you, you're probably going to find a fit with one of your suits. Now, okay, quick quick tricks are something that that to be honest with you are largely well not discredited but but most systems don't really use quick tricks now um standard american two over one and and ACOL sometimes use them in terms of deciding whether a hand qualifies for a two club opener if it's got five quick tricks that always used to be um the criteria uh back in the sort of 60s but uh that's really a sort of hangover from pre Goran days. Um, and, uh, you know, quick tricks. An ace king is two quick tricks. King queen is half a quick trick. An ace is. Just hang on a minute. So that's the only real difference. Um, uh, the two diamonds, three heart response. 
we don't tend to use if you've got preemptive support uh, for both majors you're more likely to bid 2n if you've got an intermediate hand um, just in the knowledge that that if you've got an intermediate hand uh, you're quite happy if you've got support for both majors you're quite happy for partner not to have a week two because then they're going to be 16 plus um, or with this strong major minor two suitor um, so really you're on to a winner whatever partner has if you've got an intermediate hand with both majors you're always going to be looking at a gain um, So this week, we're only going to look at the two diamond, two heart sequences. Uh, next week, we'll look at two diamonds, two spades. And the week after, we'll look at two diamonds, two no trumps. Um, we have to take this a little bit at a time because, um, especially when it comes to uh, the five, six hands, it does get fairly complex because of all the possible combinations and permutations that there can be. So if if responder bids two hearts, the assumption is that they are happy to play in two hearts and only two hearts if partner has a weak two in hearts. So almost by definition, they've either got a weak hand or they don't have any support for hearts. Um, so... If the bidding starts two diamonds, two hearts, that's where it's going to rest if opener does have a weak two in hearts. So we only have to think about continuations when opener doesn't have a weak two in hearts. So if the bid two spades to show a weak two in spades, now two no trumps is a forcing inquiry because obviously two hearts may be like that hand we had up to start with where partners actually got five card support for spades and, and quite a strong hand but they've got a stiff king of hearts so they maybe don't want game over uh, a week two in hearts but they are certainly interested in game over a week two in spades so two no trumps are forcing inquiry um, because now we know that opener has a week two in spades and over two no trumps, three spades, i.e. just returning to the major, is any lower range hand. Because two no trumps, as we saw just before, might be an intermediate hand with support for both majors. Um, sorry, I'm talking rubbish here. Uh, I will we'll come to the two diamond, two no trump bids later um, so over two no trumps the forcing inquiry three spades is any lower range hand and anything else is an upper range week two and it's a little bit this is a little bit like the forcing inquiry over our week twos in the simple system three level suit bids apart from three spades show a singleton in the suit above so three clubs, three diamonds, and three hearts are all showing a singleton in the suit above with an upper range weak two in spades. Three no trumps is upper range, uh, but semi-balanced outside, i.e. no shortage, and with a good suit. 
the four level suit bids show a second four card suit and four spades over two no trumps shows that semi balanced 6322 shape hand but with a poorish suit. So two no trumps, the two no trump forcing inquiry is effectively game forcing um, either to three no trumps or four of the major almost always four of the major because you can't assume that opener is going to have an outside stop so if you don't have good support then uh, you're probably better off heading for four spades rather than uh, three no trumps any questions so far So that effectively takes care of the situations where opener has a weak two in spades over two diamonds, two hearts. Um, any strong hand that wants to go further is going to start off with that two no trump forcing inquiry. Because that's the best way of finding out opener's range and uh, their distribution. Okay, let's move on. As with the two diamond opening in the simple system, we split the 4441 ranges. So this scheme, this scheme will be very familiar to you if you're used to uh, the way that we deal with 4-4-1 hands, especially the 16 plus ones. So over two diamonds, two hearts, two no trumps is any lower range, i.e. 16 to 19, 4 4 4 one. Three clubs asks and opener bids the suit below their singleton. Three no trumps with a diamond singleton. Uh, we don't allow any eater asks because two diamonds two hearts could be a yabra so we can't assume that responder has any points at all here it's a bit different if he's bid two spades as we'll see next week but uh, um, so there's a there's a beta available in the singleton suit um, and after that responder just has to set the final contract so it's not as sophisticated as uh, the two diamond sequences um, because we don't have as much room a jump in the singleton suit as I've said there is always to play um, just like any jump shift in asking bid sequences. Okay, we'll come back to 4441 hands in a bit. Uh, I'm going to go up the bids. So we've covered two diamonds, two hearts, two no trumps. The next few are all the eight trick hands. And we'll come back to the 4441s later on, the stronger ones. So, three clubs shows the eight trick hand with clubs and hearts. You just have to learn these combinations, I'm afraid. There's, um, uh, as, as to which rebids show which combinations. So, three clubs is clubs and hearts. Uh, and then we use three diamonds as leaven soul, forcing three hearts. After which any bid by responder is to play. So if they want to play in three hearts, they just bid three diamonds and then pass three hearts. If they want to play in four clubs, then uh, they can either pass three clubs, um, three diamonds, three hearts, and then four clubs is 
essentially invitational. Otherwise, they could just pass three clubs if they wanted to play there. Um, an immediate bid of three hearts or four clubs, though, are Gamma in the suit. And now we've established asking bids. Um, so relay beta and so on after that. Uh, three spades is a forcing inquiry asking about distribution. And over that, three no trumps is one five one six. Four clubs shows a diamond void. Four diamonds shows a spade void. And those are really the only two likely combinations that you're going to come up with. If you've got something like a a 6-6 six, six hand or a 7-5 hand, you almost certainly are going to end up opening it one club rather than two diamonds. But just in case, four hearts shows at least 6-6 six, six or 5-7, i.e. you've got a singleton and a void somewhere. Um, and over four hearts, uh, four spades would be beta. But then responder has to set the final contract because you haven't used gamma. Over uh, three clubs, three no trumps is uh, an immediate beta and responder sets the contract afterwards. If you'd rather play that as natural opposite of five six hand then good luck um jason and i figured that really there wasn't much point trying to play um this sort of a contract in three no trumps uh if you've got decent support for one of the suits you're probably better off playing in that because it'll make transport between the two hands much much easier and if you haven't got good support for either of the suits, um, i.e. you've got a misfit, then almost certainly three no trumps is the last place that you want to play. And you'll probably just end up using Leb and Sol. Um, and then three no trumps if you really do want to play in three no trumps. But Leb and Sol and then... Um, just signing off in hearts at the three level or passing three clubs. Any questions so far? Over two diamonds, two hearts, three clubs. I think I've got an example of that. Just bear with me. Go on, Shell. Yes, what? In practice, East might well bid two no trumps on this hand um, on the basis that partners either got a weak two in hearts or a weak two in spades or they've got a strong hand and either way they want to be in game. So they probably bid two no trumps but for the purpose of showing you the mechanism we'll assume that they just bid two hearts to start with.
So here we've got Gamma in hearts. Even from a 10 count, if Parton's got eight tricks, um, they've probably got a reasonable heart suit. Uh, the Ace of Diamonds is likely to be good. The other thing that East might do here uh, is to make the forcing inquiry with three spades but then they don't get to use all the toys that we have after Gamma so probably you would go about this with Gamma so this is a length known Gamma uh, for most purposes you can either agree to play length known gammas here on the basis that it's only very 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 rarely that um, opener will have a six card major here I would say five sevens are more common than six sixes uh, most of the time it will be five six hands though so you can agree to play this as a length known gamma um, but we'll assume that this is just a standard length unknown gamma for now. So, East at this stage can probably be reasonably certain, not 100%, but reasonably certain that the four controls are likely to be the King of Hearts and the Ace King of Clubs. Might not be, he might have the Ace of Spades and something like King Queen Jack of Clubs. But it's probably not going to affect uh, where East goes with this. So it's an epsilon in diamonds. Um, in practice, you haven't really got, there's no point really in doing this. I'm just showing you. Um, I'll do it tomorrow, Amy. I'll do it in the morning. I can do it in a minute. Sorry, I got caught short by. So in practice, it's more likely that East would actually just bid six hearts over four no trumps. Um, and if it turns out that partner's got a void diamond and two small spades, bad luck. It's, you know, it's a pushy slam, but looking at the two hands, it's one you want to be in. Any questions? So the other way it could go is a three spade bid over two hearts. And now uh, West would bid three no trumps showing one five one six shape. Now four diamonds would be beta because it's a known shortage. 
again, four no trumps. And now you can be reasonably clear that uh, six hearts is probably right if, if partner's got king, queen to five hearts and ace, king to six clubs. Um, and even if they do have the ace of spades and less in clubs, uh, you've still got reasonable chances for uh, for six clubs. Uh, sorry, for six hearts. Anybody got in, any questions or, or queries about the two no trump uh, sorry, the three club rebid over two diamonds, two hearts. Okay, let's move on. So the first two of these, the, the, the three club rebid and the three diamond, show non-touching two suitors. So three clubs is clubs and hearts, three diamonds is diamonds and spades. Um, the, the logic is very similar, but there are some differences. So three hearts over three diamonds is Levensol. Bids in the suit are still, direct bids in one of Opener's long suits are still Gamma. Four clubs is Beta. And three no trumps is the distribution inquiry. So over three no trumps, uh, four clubs and four hearts show a shortage in the other suit and a two card holding in the suit that you bid. Four diamonds is the 5161 hand, and four spades shows the extreme 57 or 66 hand. And we just use the cheapest uh, of openers possible shortages, i.e., four hearts or four no trumps, um, as beta over, over that forcing inquiry. But I won't go into too much more detail. Like I said, the, the logic is very similar to that over two diamonds, two hearts, three clubs. Um, it is slightly different because of the different suits. Any questions on two diamonds, two hearts, three diamonds? So those are the two non-touching suit combinations that we can have. Now we come to the two, the two touching combinations. And as usual, you're bidding a suit that you've got. So over two diamonds, two hearts, three hearts shows the red suit. There's no, there's no Lebensol here. Over diamonds, two hearts, three hearts. If you want to play in three hearts, you just pass. Um, three spades is beta three no trumps is gamma in hearts and four clubs is gamma in diamonds um, because four diamonds has to be strictly to play because we can't assume that uh, responder has any points at all here so they can just pass three hearts if they want they can just bid four diamonds if they just want to play in four diamonds um, because they don't have to have anything so the two gammas are still there but you just have to remember I'm afraid that um, three spades is beta and responder has to set the contract afterwards Three no trumps is gamma in hearts and four clubs is gamma in diamonds. Any questions?
and here um, West probably would just pass three hearts he's not really going to add anything to East's hand here um, even though as you can see uh, East is actually maximum um, personally I open the East hand one club like a shot um, but as you can see essentially three hearts is the limit of the hand and actually if uh, North South really get their act together they can actually take the first um, hang on one two three four they can take the first five tricks North South diamond to the ace diamond rough club to the king diamond rough and the ace of clubs um, so it's possible that three hearts you're already too high and it wouldn't be too difficult for uh, north south to get that sequence if their signaling is decent on the other hand north south can probably make four spades here no three spades if you make three spades they're going to almost certainly lose two spades and two hearts so three hearts going one off is actually not a bad result for east west any questions Okay. Last but not least. So the last combination we haven't yet got to is two diamonds, two hearts, three spades, which is the eight trick hand with clubs and spades. So now we use three no trump for an immediate beater, but responder has to set the contract. Four clubs is strictly to play. As is anything else that I haven't listed there. Four diamonds is gamma in spades. Four hearts is gamma in clubs. Again, there's no room here for a 11 soul kind of bid um, but we've still got the asking bids and if res if responder has nothing they can just pass three spades or convert to four clubs if they prefer to play there so the three clubs and three diamond sequences are slightly more complex because we've got a bit more room to play with but over three hearts and three spades we don't uh, and those are the two touching combinations and there's no leaven soul in those two sequences so returns to one of openers long suits are always strictly to play any questions
So if we use gamma, um, then then we're in an asking bid sequence, and and you can just keep on asking until you sign off, because you've agreed a particular trump suit. Uh, if you make the beta inquiry, then you have to set the final contract, because you can't assume otherwise that partner knows where you want to play. And so on. So with all these, again, don't forget that, that two diamonds, two hearts doesn't have to have a point in their hand. So it's entirely possible that you're already too high here. Hopefully not, with a choice of three suits to play, and you should be able to find something that's playable. Um, but, you know, bear in mind that, that Responder may be 4-3-3-3 with a four-card suit in your singleton, so you've got no eight-card fit anywhere. That's the risk you take. So no Eater asks over any of the 4 4 4 ones. Um, over two diamonds, two hearts. As you'll see next week, over two diamonds, two spades, it's slightly different because we know that Responder's got game going support for hearts so they must have some values and they almost certainly don't have support for spades but do have support for hearts so the situation is significantly different so over over any of those rebids of three no trumps four clubs four diamonds or four hearts basically responder sets the final contract um, they can use beta in the singleton suit first if they've got some values uh, and a jump in the singleton suit's always to play. So we're just um, similar to the uh, the two no trump ones except that the three no trumps is showing a singleton club. Um, so we're not quite a level a bidding higher whereas over the two no trump rebid three clubs asks and now we bid up towards three no trumps to show where our singleton is any questions any questions on any of the two diamond two heart sequences I think I've got a couple of four for four one hands here
So this is the strong, uh, strong scale in use here. So here, um, East pretty much knows that they're playing with um, a 30-point deck, as the saying goes, because he knows they're missing the King, Queen, Jack of Hearts, but it doesn't matter because uh, Open has got a Singleton Heart. He knows there's an Ace missing in one of the minors, but almost for sure... Uh, West will have everything else. Might possibly be missing a queen somewhere. But a nice 10 card spade fit. Um, a good fit in hearts. No wasted values there at all. It's what's it's what is one that you want to be in. Any questions? Okay. Always is shell. Like I said, that you know, these are complicated sequences. Um uh, the OCP multi is, is not for the faint-hearted, um, um, which is why, you know, we, John Lute and I and, and Brian and the others, we all say that, that, you know, you probably get 50% of your benefit just from playing any version of Precision. OCP gives you the next 45% of benefit and playing the complex version is only really adding about 5% of functionality you know um, it's uh, if you're not completely confident with the the simple system I wouldn't give the complex system a second glance wait until uh, wait until you've really got the simple system under your belt and the extra stuff that the complex system gives you is is it's great fun to play but it doesn't really add much to what the simple system will give you you know personally the, the simple system two diamonds is now that we've revamped it is far superior to to the arrangements over the multi. Um, but the multi is great fun to play. So you, you pay your money and you take your choice. Okay, let's have a, a few practice hands. Can I have four victims, please? Come on, guys, two more. Come on, Sonia. Put, put your money. Put your money where your mouth is. One more, please. Come on, Charlene. Get your feet wet. Too late. 
You should have jumped in. Okay. Um, try this one. Don't forget to alert, guys. Just because that there is almost nothing that doesn't need alerting in these sequences. Um, and have a think, by the way, if you're if you don't have no, Charlene, we're playing the complex system here. So it's a two diamond opener, not a two heart opener. Okay, and don't forget, by the way, if you if you can remember the Dixon defense to multi. Ah, right. Okay. Oh, hang on. I'll uh, I'll set the convention cards. Just bear with me a second. Okay, so two spades is to play, Charlene, if you've got a week two in spades. So if you've got a week two in spades, he doesn't want to go any further than two spades. So now we know effectively that north has got a week two in spades and south would have passed it. And we also we also know that South has got decent support for Hearts, and he's also saying that he would be interested in a game if Partner had a week two in Hearts. In other words, he must have some values. Okay, can anybody, does anybody have any comments or questions about this bidding sequence? I know we, we haven't looked at two diamonds, two spades yet. That comes next week. I've got one observation, which is that I think it's a little bit pushy of South to bid two spades when they've got a flat nine count. Because actually if partner's got a week two in either suit then probably two is where you want to play the danger of bidding two spades by Roger is that he is showing at least a decent invitational intermediate hand And really, he hasn't got that. If he had more shape, K 
give him, you know, a singleton spade, ace to five hearts, ace to five diamonds and a doubleton club. Now I might bid two spades. But he, I mean, even that would be pushing it a little bit. But now at least, you know, you preemptively want to be, you can be fairly sure if you've got a singleton spade that partner does actually have a weak two in spades or a strong hand. And probably preemptively you want to be in game if partner's got a weak two in hearts. So that I can understand, but with a flat nine count like Roger has, I'm not sure I would bother. I think I would just bid two hearts over two diamonds. Let partner bid two spades if they've got the spades and just pass it. Any questions? Okay. Don't forget to alert these bids, guys, by the way. Now, I covered this sort of hand earlier on. the problem with two diamonds two hearts here again I know we haven't covered the two no trump response but uh, two diamonds three hearts is preemptive or even two diamonds, four hearts. Because actually, it doesn't matter. Yeah, just just lead uh, Charlene. You know, the only the only defined responses to the multi are no different for our multi than for the others the initial responses to it so two hearts is to play if partner's got a weak two in hearts two spades is to play if partner's a weak two in spades game interest in hearts two no trumps is unconditionally forcing on partner to show his hand type and three hearts or even four hearts is just preemptive with both majors and and west really has that kind of a hand here he doesn't care what east has if they've got a weak two in either major they want to be in game in that major with this void club if partner's got a 16 plus 4441 they've definitely got a two suited fit with partner and if partner's got one of the eight trick hands, you're definitely going to a slam in one of the majors. Maybe even in diamonds. So two diamonds, two hearts wasn't the right response here because you can't afford to be just playing this hand in, in uh, two hearts. No, you should bid two no trumps. I did say if you've got an invitational hand with both majors, um, four card support for both majors, uh, it's okay to bid two no trumps. I know we haven't covered that yet, but I could have talked you through it. The alternative to that is three hearts or four hearts. I would bid four hearts quite happily on your hand.
the danger of bidding four hearts rather than two no trumps, as you'll see when we get to the two no trump responses in a couple of weeks, is that when partners got the eight trick hand, they may just decide to pass. It's unlikely, but it doesn't, you know, there aren't any defined continuations if you've got the eight trick hand or uh, the, the strong four, 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 one hands. When the bidding goes two diamonds, four hearts, or two diamonds, three hearts. Which is why we recommend that you actually use two no trumps on the sort of hand that West has here. Because now there are defined continuations when um, Open has got one of the strong kinds of hands. Okay, any questions? So this is going to make four very comfortably. Okay. Roger in the hot seat. Charlene, you got no shape and no points. Well, no, that's it. So now Roger's going to bid two no trumps to show any of the lower range four 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 ones. And now the methodology is fairly clear. Um, Charlene can ask with three clubs. So now three no trumps will show the diamond singleton and Charlene will know where to go Well, yeah, he's showing a four, 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 a sixteen to nineteen, four, 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 one hand with a singleton diamond. So he's got four card hearts. So where do you want to play? Okay, we're gonna play this one, please. Alright, in that case, we won't bother playing this one. I was going to see if East West could get their defensive, uh, their defensive act together. No, you're not going to make your five tricks now, I'm afraid, uh, Clement. On a diamond lead, this is easily making ten or eleven.
on a spade lead. East West can take the first four tricks. But Mehmet has to decide to lead his singleton. That's not nice. When you said that. No. That's what the game's all about. No. Because you know that the diamonds, you've only got one stop and they're going to be wide open. You can't possibly afford to play this hand in three no trumps knowing that East is, East probably oughtn't to lead a diamond against four hearts. But he'll definitely and correctly lead a diamond against three no trumps. I would try. I would try the spade at trick one with Mehmet's hand. No, no, no problem. Um, I know you're balanced, but but knowing that Park's got a singleton diamond, and that that's what ops are going to lead, you can't afford to play. You you can't you can't assume that you're going to be able to rattle off um, nine tricks in in the other suits if partner's 16 to 19 you've only got a seven count you're hoping that they're up a range just to make the game here you certainly don't need um, to give ops a chance No, you've got the 4-4 four, four heart fit. You want to play in four hearts. Okay, any other questions? Just out of interest, Mehmet, why did you lead the diamond rather than your singleton spade? What were your thoughts? So ideal on a spade lead, it goes a, it goes a spade to the ace. The three of spades returned to ask for a club back. Now a spade rough, a club to the ace, and another spade rough. Anybody else to sit, please, in the west seat? Thank you, Clement. Mr. Walkworth, are you for sitting? Don't make me sit, guys. These aren't any, any fun for me. Thank you, sir. Okay, anybody got any questions about that hand? About the bidding? No problem, mate. Okay, David, um, two diamonds opening, multi. Yeah. 
So this is to play if you've got a weak two in heart, David. But with your hand, you now bid three clubs to show the eight trick hand with clubs and hearts. So this is an 11 to 15 hand with eight tricks with a five card major and a six card minor. So this isn't forcing, uh, East might have nothing. But actually he's got a, a couple of quite nice cards for you. So four clubs here would be Gamma. Three hearts would be Gamma. Three diamonds is Levensol, after which he can sign off anywhere. So David, this is, this is Gamma in clubs and we're now in an asking bid sequence. So East is in control of the bidding from this point on. So your known, you must have your minimum length for clubs is six. Can't do this with five five. It's got to be five six, at least. I'll allow you to pass, Roger. Very good. Don't forget to alert. So that's a six card suit with two of the top three honours or all three of the top three honours. Very well done. Have a lead from Charlene. Okay, just um, not much to the play here, just you're going to make 11 tricks. What would five clubs over three clubs be, guys? You're absolutely right, Tanya. I, I, you know, this is a a 14 count. All the bids and all the points in the long suits. I would open the West Hand one club.
but these are just demonstration hands and uh, I'm just I'm just trying to get the sequences um, clear in your heads that's the purpose of these hands it's not to demonstrate the sort of bidding purity yes five clubs would just be to play absolutely and really if East is going to just bid five clubs over four spades which is the best response he can possibly get then he might as well just bid five clubs over three clubs really because West hasn't told him anything extra you know what was what was East going to bid if West bid five four hearts rather than four spades showing only one top honor he still have to bid five clubs So really the options with the east hand are either to grasp the nettle and bid five clubs or to pass three clubs. Personally, I... Anybody else got any questions, comments, issues, queries? Okay, well done. Right, I think, Roger, just because we haven't covered two diamonds, two spades yet, um, just bid two hearts. I know you might bid two spades on this hand, um, but actually just bid two hearts here because... Uh, So three diamonds is showing spades and diamonds. And you might think that the south hand is a weak hand. And it is fairly weak. But on the other hand, he's got two very well-placed cards and a very well-placed shortage. So you know here, Charlene, that, that South doesn't have a strong hand here. They have got something, otherwise, yes, 
but it doesn't stop you from bidding on if you want. But um, you know they'll have some values in the south hand because they didn't have to bid anything. They could have just passed three diamonds. So they they definitely feel they they've got something to add to your hand. Bid six. And again, uh, we'll just just claim twelve. Claim thirteen. They're there for the taking. Okay, and again, the north hand here is one that you would open one club without any hesitation. Well, certainly I would. But if you decide to open it with the multi, just for the practice, you understand. Um, then that's a perfectly, perfectly reasonable um perfectly reasonable sequence. If I did that, partner would have a void club, two small hearts, and king jack nine to six diamonds, <laughs> and the diamonds would be four one offside for sure. <laughs> Anybody got any questions? So, doesn't promise anything, Charlene. The, the two diamonds just says, if you've got a week two in hearts, that's where I want to play. In practice, South probably would bid two spades on that hand. Because if you've got a six card weak heart suit, um, it's a very good responding hand for you, really. But we haven't covered two spade, the two spade sequences, so I didn't want to get into two diamonds, two spades this week. Yeah, but not after five diamonds, Sanya. Once South bids five diamonds, you can be sure you're going to get into their hand. Because um, they'll have some diamond support quite apart from anything else. So at the point where, where North bids three diamonds, no, they can't be sure of anything. And if South decides to pass three diamonds, then that's their prerogative. You know, North is, is saying, I've got eight tricks here. Um, South is feeling that their Queen of Diamonds is going to definitely firm up the diamond suit. They've got a roughing value in spades and control of the club suit. So on a balance of probabilities, five diamonds is a perfectly good response on the South cards. Okay, one more and then we'll call it a night. Just bear with me a minute.
Oops, sorry, wrong one. May well be, David. <laughs> yeah. On the other hand, if you know that there's loads of shape flying around, those four controls aren't necessarily going to give you anything. In fact, really, your hand has turned to shit on this bidding knowing that the ace of spades is almost certainly on your left um, the club tricks are unlikely to be a trick or certainly only one so you can only really feel that you're probably entitled to two tricks here not more than that So three hearts showing the red the red eight trick hand with hearts and diamonds. Oh come on. David Walkworth. Partner says they've got an eight trick hand. Eight trick hand with hearts and diamonds and you sat there with four card heart support and the ace of diamonds. <laughs> It's okay. So this isn't an asking bid because three no trumps was gamma in hearts here. Um, and four, uh, four clubs would have been gamma in diamonds. So four hearts is just to play. Well done. Oh, it's a tricky lead. Well done. Charlene was obviously listening to what I was saying about the West Hand because she didn't lead, didn't bother leading her singleton eight of diamonds. And as it happens, the club lead gets you your two club tricks. Very well done. Okay, guys, um, I think we're going to call it a night there tonight. You have to play, you can only play this with the complex system, Mehmet. Um, you can't really put the multi in the simple system. Well, you can. 
but if you're going to do it, you might as well just play the complex. Um, the thing is, you need you need to adjust everything else. If you're going to play a multi-two diamonds with the simple system, what are you going to do with uh, your two heart and two spade openers, for example? You have to think about those sorts of things and make those adjustments. Um, anyway, guys, we'll... Uh, anything is possible if you want to you know you can simplify the responses to the multi and just play it as a weak two or the strong four 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 one if you want but you you know if you're if you're a bit overfaced by the complexity of of what I've explained tonight and what I will be explaining over the next couple of weeks then really I would suggest that the, the complex system is uh, is probably not for you at this stage, Charlene. You know, um, it's it's fairly easy to make the adjustments to take out the five six hands, um, but the attraction of using the complex system, the attraction of using the multi. Is, is if you revel in that degree of complexity. If that isn't the case, you might as well just play the simple system. No, I, I mean, you, you're better off with the simple system anyway. Like I said, that gives you almost all of the advantages. You know, if the complex system gives you anything, it's a little bit more enjoyment and a tiny bit of extra functionality, arguably, with the one diamond sequences.